Hello and welcome to this special segment about the DeSoto ISD International Baccalaureate Programs. Joining me today are Ms. Jennifer Cowan, the International Baccalaureate Coordinator. Hi. Ms. Debbie Garner, she's the Executive Director of Innovative Programs for DeSoto ISD. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. DeAndrea Kidd, one of our students in the IB program at DeSoto High School. Thank Hi. you. And Ms. Sarah Reese, also a student with DeSoto High School in the IB program. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, let's get right into it. The International Baccalaureate Program is a little bit unique. So tell me a, an overview of the IB philosophy and the benefits of being in an IB program over similar programs. The IB philosophy is that, well, the IB program actually offers just a good, solid, rigorous education. Um, for years, we've been talking about adding rigor mm -hmm. to our instruction, and IB answers that, that call for rigor. Um, the students are in challenging courses. They're in university level courses at the high school level. Um, these courses have uh, an international focus. Um, these courses are um, advanced in the area of college readiness and they're getting students prepared for the next step. We want our students to leave DeSoto High School prepared for college and university. And the IB answers that call. Um, now the program, the IB program has uh, benefits over other programs being that um, it gets the students ready. We don't actually focus so much on getting the college credits mm -hmm. in, while you're in high school. However, they do have the opportunity to get college credit. We want to make sure that they're college ready. Many of our kids leave DeSoto High School and they go to college. They go on scholarships. However, that first semester that they're in college, they have to take um, oftentimes they have to take developmental classes. They're, they find that they're not exactly um, as prepared as their grades suggested mm -hmm. they were. So uh, we want uh, as many students as possible to be uh, not just college ready, but I call it university ready uh, when they leave DeSoto High School. Tell me a little bit about our current cohort. How many students are currently in the IB program at DeSoto High School and what grades do they enter into the program? We have uh, 95 students right now in the high school diploma program. They enter the diploma program at the 11th grade year. Okay. And I have found that I want to uh, make sure that when these students come in at the 11th grade year that they are prepared, very, very well prepared. Uh, so we're looking at uh, generating um, a cohort of students to come in at the ninth grade level so that they can take Pre, what I call pre-IB courses that will get them better prepared at the junior, the junior level. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, let's hear from some of our students today. Now, ladies, tell me a little bit about these benefits from IB program from a student's perspective. Um, well, one benefit I will say is that um, it prepares you for college, like Ms. Callan said, um, especially when it comes to study habits mm -hmm. and time management. Those things are very important to have in the college, especially with how rigorous the um, courses are. Mm -hmm. You need to study and you need to make sure that you know what you're um, being taught. And you have to make sure that you retain that information. Fantastic. So, Okay. Yeah, um, another good thing about IB is it is international. So you don't have a specific mindset. You learn to have a world mindset instead of just focusing on one area of the world. And it's just really great. You're able to understand more. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that input. Back to you, Ms. Kellen. Tell me a little bit about the factors that you're looking for. Uh, we have some fantastic candidates here, obviously, we do. Uh, students in your program. What, stu what factors do you look for when you are looking for a candidate? Well, I like to start with what, what we're not necessarily looking for. We're, we're not exactly looking for the student that's um, in the top 5%. We want the students to be a strong uh, academic candidate. However, I look at other things. I look at disciplinary records. I look at attendance records. And then I look at grades because I want the student to have, um, I guess, a strong work ethic, mm -hmm. um, have the ability to um, persevere, you know, when the courses get, get a little rough because the courses will be more, again, more rigorous mm -hmm. than what they may have experienced in the past. So um, I don't want anyone to think that um, you have to be, you know, in the top ten of your, of your high school class 
Um, but you do have to be a student that is willing to work and that has demonstrated that they have the ability to um, advance, to do work in advanced academic classes. Would it be fair to say you're looking for a student that maybe has a more holistic uh, approach? Yes, yes. Uh, IB is very holistic in okay. its uh, philosophy. Um, they're looking at the total, the total student, not just the academic areas. They're looking at the, um, the uh, mental, social, um, just the entire student and wanting to develop that person that will be successful in college. Uh, I feel that students that are the most successful in college have uh, an array of skills. Uh, you have study skills, you have social skills, mm -hmm. you know how to get along, you know how to um, how to take care of yourself physically, you know how to, um, I guess, monitor your, your study habits, know when you need to study more, make, make proper decisions and, right. and be problem solvers. Those are the type of students we're looking for. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right, ladies, now I want to ask you guys, tell me a little bit about the major difference between these IB classes, they're very rigorous, versus a traditional high school class. Um, the referring back to the study habits mm -hmm. of um, how how hard you have to study in IB. Um, normally in a traditional class, you know, once you learn things, you tend to you tend to feel okay mm -hmm. when um, with what you learn. If the if the academic level of a of a traditional class, you have maybe a little bit of homework. Um, how much though do you have to go outside of your traditional homework study habits to really uh, excel in an IB program? You have to manage your time more wisely, mm -hmm. I will say, and you tend to have more homework in IB, but mm -hmm. that really helps us, actually. And most kids, you know, they, they think, oh, well, I don't like homework, you know, I feel like if I could do it in class, mm -hmm. you know, I shouldn't have to take it home to do it, but when you right. do have a lot of homework, that prepares you to, you know, for the next class. Mm -hmm. So, and it also gives you more time to go over what you learned in class. All right. Sarah, what would you add to that about the rigor in the, in the, and tell me a little bit about how it prepares you for college, university level. These classes are extremely, um, there's, some, there's a level of high motivation that a student has to take to prepare for these classes and to excel in these classes. Tell me a little bit about that. Right, um, so as we all know, it's around the time where you take tests, I mean, it always is. So you really have to study hard, and I've noticed that throughout this whole semester, I've had about two to three hours of homework each not each night, but every other night. And it's more of me having to go over my work and mm. make sure I understand the concepts. Because I may have it in class, but when I go home and I review it, I may understand something and not understand something mm. about the problem. And I will have to go back to my teacher and discuss it with them so that way I understand, so that way I am prepared to go to class. And that's sort of a mindset that people are gonna have to have if they want to be successful in college, IB, anything because if you don't ask questions, you're not gonna to get to go where you need to go. I think that's fantastic. It very much sounds like college level classes because I remember those days. Ms. Cowan, tell me a little bit about the program. There's some new, new um, elements to it this year. There's something new regarding the program itself? Yes, uh, this year we are planning to uh, incorporate the ninth grade uh, into okay. the IB program. Um, IB, the IB diploma program, which is what we're offering at the high school, is exclusively for 11th and 12th graders. Students come in at, uh, at the junior year. However, I found that um, these students, many of the students haven't had classes that they needed or developed study skills that they needed to be as successful as possible in the 11th grade okay. uh, coursework. So um, I'm looking at, at um, these situations saying, what can we do uh, to make this new cohort more successful, and I feel that we need to bring them in right. at an earlier age, uh, prepare them, um, because I offer things like supplemental tutoring uh, to the mm -hmm. students. Um, we have uh, access to uh, computers. Uh, there's um, there's a lot of supplemental things that I've had to do to uh, build up uh, their capacity to be successful in these classes. So I feel that if I um, secure the students in the program at an earlier age. Okay. Will be they'll be better prepared and more successful at the 11th grade year. That's fantastic. Now I know the high school program is the diploma program. Yes. Um, and that's something that we are actually already an accredited IB World School. Exactly. But tell me a little bit about the two lower grade programs that we're currently in the candidacy phase. Okay, great. Um, at West Middle School, uh, we're in candidacy mm -hmm. uh, for the middle years program, okay. and at Cockrell Hill Elementary, we're in candidacy for, candidacy for the primary years program of IB. So. Um, we have an April 1st deadline to request authorization for those two campuses. Okay. 
Now the difference between um, the, the three, mm -hmm. uh, the high school operates as a school within a school. So you mm -hmm. have a cohort of students that are involved in IB, in the IB diploma program. Um, however, at West and Cockrell Hill, the whole campuses will be IB campuses. Okay. Every student will be involved in IB. Okay. Um, so it's a different, a little bit different uh, process. And what's really um, great about that, and what is gonna, how it's really gonna benefit the students of DeSoto is that uh, eventually, once we get these two campuses mm -hmm. authorized, we'll have a, a continuum of education in IB. So you can have a student that will start IB at uh, the kindergarten mm -hmm. level, <laughs> Mm -hmm. and then progress through uh, middle school and high school and of course that student will be um, the most prepared for the diploma program when they get to the high school. That's fantastic. It sounds like a great continuum for a student yes. to take the IB program from like you mentioned from kindergarten straight through graduation exactly. and really be prepared for uh, university level courses afterwards. Exactly. Um, the students this year, um, how are they performing academically in your current cohort? <laughs> well, um, about a fourth of them are on A or AB honor roll. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm extremely excited about that. Um, about two fourths of them are, they have some A's, some B's, uh, maybe a sprinkling of C's. So I would say that three fourths of the students are um, excelling um, in, the, in, this, uh, in this course mm -hmm. of study. Um, of, of course, I do have some that um, weren't as prepared mm -hmm. as you know, we originally thought. Uh, they are uh, struggling a little bit academically. However, we are offering supports uh, for those students. And um, many of them, um, even in the, the fact that they're making C's for the first time, mm -hmm. um, they're still finding that their, their learning capacity has increased. And I tell my students all the time, uh, this is probably something they could, they could quote, quote <laughs> me on, but I tell them, you know, all A's aren't created equal. Um, right. <laughs> just because you've always gotten A's doesn't mean that you have, have mastered um, that content. Right. Um, so what they're finding is that uh, you know this, this year I'm studying more. They, I've had students tell me, I've never had to study like this right. in my life. Right. Um, and some of those students that are saying that, they aren't necessarily making A's, but their, their C is even um, an indicator of the, the the amount of content, new content that they've learned. So, um, you know, and that's the bottom line. Actually. Well, it's, and it sounds like the depth and the rigor exactly. uh, is a different level that maybe they, um, uh, are, exactly. they aren't maybe quite used to in some of their classes, even on, on some of our current AP programs. Uh, the IB program has a little bit different of an angle to it with the worldview yes. um, that I think takes them to a different depth. Exactly. Well, uh, our students have to um, really have to be able to compete against not just students here in Texas or students in the DFW area. Uh, mm -hmm. However, they have to be able to compete with students outside of Texas and the, you know, various parts of the United States and even uh, with students um, across the world. Mm -hmm. So we, um, you know, we want to provide them a world-class uh, education. That's, that's our goal here at DeSoto ISD. All right. Well, thank you very much. Now, ladies, you mentioned the AB Honor Roll. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Sarah? How are you feeling this year about it? I know, I know she mentioned there's some folks that are getting a C for the first time because it is a different depth right. level. How are you feeling about this year's academics? Um, I've worked really hard for all of my grades this year, mm -hmm. and I'm going to share some personal information. In my math class, I've been working so hard, and I made a C. And actually, I failed the exam, to be completely honest, and I thought I knew everything on there. And, you know, I averaged out to a low C, but I knew that I worked hard for it, and that's all I could think about. I was like, I sit here, I came to tutoring as much as mm -hmm. I could with my schedule, and I was working hard. I studied my notes. I took extreme amount of notes. I had, like, three different journals, mm -hmm. and, you know, I was helping students. I was tutoring students, and even though I didn't make a grade that's good to me on my level, mm -hmm. I know that I did improve in my study habits and the way it, my work ethic is. All right. How are you doing this year? Um, actually, I just got pretty pretty caught up with the rigor. I can handle gotcha. it now. Actually, I did make the AB on a roll. All right. Ooh, all right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. You. And, and that's another thing. You feel proud of yourself when you feel like, wow, I finally put in all of this work for this, right. and I, I got the grade that I worked for. That's fantastic. Congratulations. 
tell me a little bit about some of the activities. Now we've talked about the, the rigor in the classroom and we've talked a little bit about the philosophy of it. What do you guys do? What do you do as a cohort maybe outside of the, the school part of IB? Well, we recently took a trip to Denver for okay. the IB Student World Conference, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. I had a blast. Me and Sarah both went, Great. and um, we got to interact with students from all over the world. It was an international conference, and my roommate, um, we stayed on campus mm -hmm. for a week, and my roommate, she was from Chicago, Okay. and um, I was able to bond with her, actually, and I never would have imagined that, you know, I would be able to bond with somebody in that short amount of time, right. but I did. And, one thing that we had in common was music. You know, she was a dancer and I, I, was, a, I was a singer, so that was very fun to um, do. And we had conferences on campus and we got to um, sit in conferences and um, listen to speakers come and talk to us about their um, affiliation with the food industry. Okay. Yeah, so that was an amazing Amazing. Experience. What yeah. are some other things along with the Denver trip? Um, along with the Denver trip, actually, since she shared her roommate mm -hmm. information, my roommate was actually from Japan. Oh, fantastic. And um, it was very interesting to meet her, and she, she was not the stereotype that mm -hmm. I knew, so mm -hmm. I was so surprised. And, you know, it was great. She had some American habits and I wasn't aware of. I was like, whoa, <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, she brought me some Japanese food, and it was, it was insane. I was like, wow, this is so cool. So, That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing that you guys get to experience that. So we're going to wrap up a little bit here, but um, Ms. Garner, tell me a little bit about the application process for the IB program here in DeSoto ISD. Okay, thank you. Well, the application will be coming out on December 19th, not just for IB, but any program within the district. Um, IB definitely will be open on December 19th. It will close on January 30th. Mm -hmm. So if you have a student at home that is inquisitive, an independent thinker, um, willing to explore local and global context, IB is the program for you. So we welcome all of you to visit the DeSoto ISD website. There should be a button on the mainframe. Mm -hmm. Click on it, choose IB, and apply. All right. I want to thank you all for joining us today for this panel. I want to thank our audience for viewing us today. Learn a little bit more about our IB program here in DeSoto ISD.